Hey guys, today's video will be a little bit different, it doesn't involve the other public gameplay, but it does involve a simple explanation of how I make my voice sound less annoying. I'm not using a high quality microphone, I'm using this headset, Corsair Vengeance 1400, it's an analog headset and the microphone is particularly horrible by default. It's very quiet and it has a lot of background noise. The way I'm fixing this issue is by using two software solutions running at the same time. First one is called Virtual Audio Cable. That's a software that allows me to transfer audio streams between applications. And you can see pretty much all the description about it over here. I'll put a link down below the video. The second one, of course, is Adobe Audition. Now, what you need to do, you open Adobe Audition and you may see a different screen, not this one. This is how I have arranged uh, my user interface. This is how my voice sounds with the three filters, which I will explain in a little bit more detail later on. And this is how my voice is without them. First of all, you can see the green light over here. This is the background noise. My voice is noticeably quieter now, and there is a lot more background noise. If you turn up the volume on YouTube, you clearly hear the noise alongside my voice. Now let's start from scratch. When you open that program, you need to use a multi-track. On that multi-track, you need to select this button, Arm for Record, this one, Monitor Input, and you need to have the whole program running at, uh, all the time. As long as you're using your voice and you're communicating with other people via your stream, Skype, TeamSpeak, Mumble, or whatever other software you want to use in combination with this noise cancelling solution. You need to set this one into a default stereo output. And this one is selected as a master. On the left side where the filters are, you can choose different filters from the arrow on the right side of each line. Most people on YouTube would advise you to use adaptive noise reduction. Of course I'm using it. It's decorated in red because it uses a little bit of CPU power. And let me show you how much exactly in my case. That's it. 3.6%. My CPU is 4770K and it's overclocked to 4.7 GHz. So about the filters. Here is how I have set up the specific options for each one of them. It isn't necessary to use Amplify and Vocal Enhancer, but I found that these two filters, in the specific order I have put them, 1, 2 and 3, make for a best result, in my case, for my headset and for my specific voice. This is the most important one, you can play with the sliders and you can see what kind of results you would get, but the default values work best for me, the only different thing is you need to check on this. Something else you need to do in the program, go to Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware. The things you will need to change is this one, Default Output. Input is coming to, from your microphone of course, and you want your output to be on a virtual Line 1 audio cable. The other option you probably want to change is uh, latency. If I remember correctly, the default is 200. I've experimented a little bit and I found that 60 for me works quite enough. And now here is how to implement it in OBS. You can do pretty much the similar operation for Skype, for TeamSpeak, Mumble and anything else that requires your voice and where you want your voice to be noiseless. In OBS specifically, for streaming or local recording, you go to Settings, and in Audio, on the second line, you need to choose Line 1 Virtual Audio Cable. The same thing that you choose a moment ago in Adobe Audition. Another cool trick is this plugin for OBS, microphone noise gate. As you can see, the green light when I'm quiet. It's a little bit below 
the close threshold. You can read the description on the right. I'm using exactly what they're uh, suggesting. I have two to three decibels higher than the green light when I'm quiet. On the left side and on the right side, I have added six decibels and it works for a perfect solution. I can show you in OBS what exactly it does. You see, this is the green light when I'm speaking, when I shut up, it closes and it goes completely quiet. If I deactivate it, you see that the green light stays here. That's a very minor noise and it's pretty much impossible to notice, but it's still there. And that's all. I'm not really sure if I managed to explain what I'm doing perfectly, but I really hope I can help some of you guys. If you have any questions, I would be very happy to try and help you with uh, whatever answers I can provide. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on my channel with my next video. Have a good day. Bye.